Hi, this is Dr. Bharadwaj. I am CEO and Chief Doctor at Fidika's Homeopathy. As a reproductive age female, it is very important for you to know about the structure of ovaries and structure of reproductive system and also the functional and physiology of reproductive system. Coming to the anatomy, each female will be having one uterus in the pelvis. From the uterus, there will be two fallopian tubules, tube-like structures coming out. And at the end of each fallopian tubule, there will be ovaries. These ovaries will have eggs. These eggs will be released every month in ovarian cycle. So this is the structure of uh, female reproductive organs. Consider that you are, you are having a menstrual cycle of 28 days. What the ovaries or the uterus or the hormones released by these structures will be doing for uh, this time for 14 days. First 14 days is it is preparing for you to have fertilization. So at the end of 14th day, if the ovary is fertilized, the pregnancy will continue and hormones related to your pregnancy will be going forward. If the fertilization doesn't occur on 14th day, these products which are developed or the endometrium which, which is proliferated within these 14 days will undergo shredding through menstrual cycle. From the uh, from menstrual cycle, uh, from the menstrual blood, uh, the endometrium will be shed off and it will be preparing you for the next reproductive or next uh, menstrual cycle. Coming to the pathology of PCOS, the first thing we will be noticing is insulin resistance. Because of this insulin resistance, even though there is high levels of insulin in the blood, the glucose is not moving into the cells and the glucose levels will be elevated. This will be causing hyperlipidemia uh, and also other things, uh, other pathological changes related to hyperlipidemia. Next one is there will be high levels of luteinizing hormone. This luteinizing hormone will stimulate the uh, theca interna this theca interna will produce more androgens because of this more androgens like testosterone you will be having more facial hair unwanted hair on the body and also there will be change in the voice you will get the voice more hairs these androgens and will be moving towards the uh, periphery and they will be depositing in the subcutaneous fat in subcutaneous fat these will be converted into estrogens then you will have high levels of estrogen in your blood when there is high levels of estrogen there will be endometrial proliferation within the uh, uterus if this uh, is not controlled this may lead into uterine cancer endometrial uterine cancer